let's go to Long Island, New York. We have Dion on the phone, and she needs help. She needs prayer. Hello, Dion. Hi, Pastor Charles. I'm here. Good to have you on the program. Yes, thank you. I'm happy to be here, Pastor. So we want to pray for you today. You need prayer? Yes. Uh, yes, I do pray very much. I need it. Okay. Explain to us what's going on with you. So I've just been very depressed. I have a lot of anxiety after going through chemo and uh, breast cancer treatment. Um, I haven't been myself ever since. I, and it's been seven years. And I just haven't been able to go back to work, to have like the norm, a normal life. It's just been hard. Um, so I'm still going through it. Dion, let me just cut in. I'm going to let you talk a little bit more. I just want to talk about this point. I want, maybe you understand, but I, I want to explain what's happened. Many times evil spirits come in through trauma, mm -hmm. through some kind of trauma you go through. So the, the cancer that you went through and the treatment, that was a trauma that you went through. It was scary. You know, it's, it's, everyone's, it's everyone's nightmare to get cancer. Nobody wants cancer. You went through that. You lived. You survived. It's been years now. But uh, it's like evil spirits take advantage of a time like that when we're vulnerable and they come in. So what Evelyn, I believe, is that this anxiety that you feel, this inability for you to go back to your life as normal, you're unable to work. That's a spirit that is blocking you. They treated the cancer, but now you have another problem that's, mm -hmm. that's destroying your life. It, does that make sense? Yes, it does. So, Dion, is the cancer gone? You're totally cancer-free now? I'm in remission. Mm -hmm. okay. So that's good news. That is yes. It's great news, wonderful news. But we're really unhappy about your anxiety and panic yes. attacks. Or is part of the anxiety you have fear that it'll come back, or is it about other things in your life? It's just life general. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, but it was just after everything, um, several other um, in, uh, several several other immune disease came mm -hmm. in. Mm -hmm. And so your sickness is just kind of morphed into something different. Yes, it, it definitely did. Like yeah. about three, four different things I'm battling. Wow. So, yeah, that's that's like it shows kind of the, the fingerprints of the presence of the unseen enemy. When he attacks, he wants to destroy. And yes. if we resist the best we can, you resisted the treatment and everything like that resisted. So he wants to take another form. He wants to attack in some other way. And it seems like worse than just the, the actual auto, autoimmune diseases that you have, you also have this depression, which is making it hard for you to fight back, which is what you need to do. You need to yes. have that strength of faith to fight yeah. back. This fear and this anxiety, these panic attacks, they're coming to block you from fighting against the problem, mm -hmm. the other problem, the other health problems. They're blocking you from going back to a normal life. And God, yes. wants, God wants you to get back even better than you were before. Right. Yes, God wants so. you to overcome all of this. Uh, Dion. Yes. Is God bigger than your problems? Oh, yes, he is. He's almighty. You have a lot of problems. Is he bigger? God is huge. He's enormous to me. He's everything. Amen. So does he care about you, about your life? Yes, he does. He gives me strength in my weakness. Okay. So do you have a cup of water? I do. Okay. So I want you to hold it in your hand. Everyone else watching, we're going to pray for Dion now, but we're also going to pray for you. And we're determined that, that today Dion is going to, her healing is going to begin. God is going to do something great in her life. So Dion, this water is simple water. But 
We believe that when you drink this water, we believe that this water will be like what Jesus said, the living water. And as we drink it, we believe that God is going to wash away the sickness and the evil and the darkness and the evil spirits in your life. There was a time that a blind man, Jesus put mud on his eyes. He, he was told to go and wash in the pool of Siloam. And when he splashed the water on his eyes and washed off the mud, he could see. So in Jesus' name, the same thing is going to happen now. So we're not asking for something strange. We're not making something up. We want the same thing that happened to that blind man. We don't know his name, but we know that he was sent to the pool of Siloam. And we know that he came back seeing. So in Jesus' name, like his blindness was washed away, your panic, your autoimmune uh, disorders, oh, the, the, whatever other problem you have, Dion, is going to be washed away. What do you say to that? I believe, yes, I want it to. Okay, let's pray right now. I rebuke all these problems attacking Dion and everyone else watching this program right now. I rebuke these problems, autoimmune disorders. I rebuke the cancer. I rebuke tumors. I rebuke anxiety and fear and panic and depression Jesus. and suicidal thoughts. I rebuke bad luck and blocked ways. Dion can't go back to normal. Her, her life has been changed ever since the cancer. She can't get back to where she used to be. I rebuke this problem. Jesus I man. order you to let go of Dion. Let go. Evil spirit, let go. She's not yours. She belongs to the Lord Jesus. So let go oh, right Jesus. now. Take your grubby hands off of her. Every problem that you brought, all evil, all bad luck, all blocked ways, we command you in the name Jesus. of the Lord Jesus Christ, Jesus of Nazareth, the one who healed people left and right. We order you to leave, out, leave in his name. We determine healing for Dion, every evil spirit. We speak to you right now in Dion and the, and the others watching this program. Jesus. We command you now, get out. Get out. And never, never, never come back again. Dion's life is not your property, Satan. She's not your property, demons. We banish you from her life and we determine her healing has begun right now. Oh, Jesus. And she's going to be a different mo woman. By the end of February, February, she will be a different woman. Completely different. For the glory of God. Jesus. And the same for all of you watching right now. Whatever your problem is. This month is a month of healing. This month we're praying on the first day of February. By the end of this month your life will be changed. Through the power of God. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Now your water is blessed. Drink it and be healed. Right. Dion? Yes, thank you. How are you? I'm here, Paul. So I'm, I'm, I'm feeling good. Thank you, you for that wonderful prayer. You are blessed. Oh, God is there with you. God, yes, God's you. light is shining on you. And this month is the month. All right? February yes, 2022, it's the month that you get Hallelujah. your life back. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Yes, thank okay, you. That's, that's the word that God gave me for you. 
when I was praying. That's what I felt in my spirit. God is with you. This is God's message to you, Dion, specifically, there in Long Island. And to the rest of you, anyone watching this, if you receive this for your life, this is what God is saying to you. I just want to encourage Dion for you to come to one of our churches as soon as you can because you need more of these deliverance prayers because it's not just someone praying over you. It's you developing that inner strength also, developing that ability to fight back against the attacks of the enemy, against the, the, the negative voices in your head. And so the sooner you can get to one of our churches and start joining in the prayers, receiving the prayers, and learning how to pray yourself, uh, that would be excellent. That would be a great thing to do. Yes, I will be there. I know where it is. Oh, great. Good. So go, especially this Sunday. But the sooner, sooner the better. Thanks so much for calling in. God bless you, and we're going to keep Thank praying you. for you. God bless you. Thank you so much for your prayers. I, I love Amen. Amen. Okay, we love you too. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye.